Let's take a look at Garmin's new portable ADS-B receiver, the GDL-39. Today we're replacing this ADS-B technology with the Garmin GDL-39. Notice how much more compact and sleek this unit is. There's a significant difference between these two receivers. The one we're replacing, this one, the Sky Radar unit, is a Wi-Fi unit that broadcasts a signal to your Apple device whereas the GDL-39 is a Bluetooth device. And it's also worth noting that the earlier Sky Radar unit uses this remote GPS antenna, whereas in Garmin's GDL-39, the antenna is self-contained. The GDL-39 comes with these accessories, including a mounting plate, power adapter, a suction cup, an instruction manual, and we noted with interest that since you'll be using this with the Garmin Pilot software, there's a free six-month trial certificate included right in the box with the GDL-39. Before we get started taking our closer look at the GDL-39, a brief reminder that the revenue we derive from operating this website is that available to us exclusively when you click on one of the banner ads. So please, after watching this video, take a moment to click on one of those links, won't you please? At the time this recording was made, Garmin's optional battery pack for the GDL-39 was not yet available. So we'll set it on the dash and then connect the power of the things about which we're curious is whether when this unit is powered up, it affects the magnetic compass. And it does not appear to adversely impact the wet compass in any way. Notice how stable it remains. First, we must pair the GDL-39 with the Bluetooth receiver in our iPad. To do that, we hold the button on top of the unit for just a few seconds until a blue light begins to flash on the front of the unit. Next, from the iPad's main screen, we'll click Settings. And in Settings, General, and then Bluetooth. You'll see that Bluetooth is off. We'll turn it on. GDL-39 appears here. We tap, and the unit should begin the pairing process. Next, let's launch the Garmin Pilot software. And you'll note that the GDL-39 has already located and placed on the map a traffic alert. Now we've pinched the screen so that you can see that a considerable amount of traffic is pictured here in the greater Chicago area. You'll see that an arrow indicates the direction of travel. A smaller arrow shows that this particular aircraft is descending. And beneath the symbol, you'll see the actual identifier for the aircraft. You may be curious why no weather is displayed. Well, there are two possibilities. We may be too far from the ADS-B transmitting antenna, and we're on the ground. It's also a beautiful clear day, so there is no adverse weather to display. The Garmin Pilot software itself is intuitive and very easy to use. However, you may not find some of the features that you're accustomed to in Wing X or ForeFlight. That said, we think the GDL-39 represents a big improvement in ADS-B received technology for the general aviation cockpit. If you think of today's evolving ADS-B technology as an entree or an introduction to something that the FAA wants to see in every cockpit in the years to come, you won't be disappointed. Do your own research on ADS-B.